Hey everyone, it's currently the 17th of June 2011 and across the western Pacific today, starting off towards the north, the rainy season stationary front does continue to linger over Japan and extending out over to uh, China, producing some rain showers with isolated thunderstorms across this banding radiant here up towards the north. This is expected to last throughout the day and into tomorrow across much of Japan before high pressure begins to region behind it. But the main topic of discussion today is farther towards the south here is Tropical Depression 06W here or tropical depression a guy here being called by Gasa. if we zoom in on the satellite shot here you can see the overall banding in this system and the overall intensification of it over the past 24 hours really starting to see it uh, intensify and gain strength here just east of the Philippines current winds out of it as a per JTBC's warning is 25 gusting up to 35 knots expecting this to gradually intensify up to a max about 40 gusting up to 50 knots could uh, get some stronger if we do experience some rapid intensification here just east of Luzon really going going into a favorable area there. High sea surface temperatures and low vertical wind shear. We'll show that in just a second. But if you look at the satellite shot, though, really starting to see a lot of inflow coming in from the south out of the equatorial region. Sea surface temperatures down here uh, well above uh, 30 degrees Celsius or well above 90 degrees Fahrenheit uh, in this entire region here. And also uh, coming out of the north, there's a tropical ridge located up in this region here, allowing for some good dye fluent flow aloft. So really a lot of moisture getting pumped into the system. Good exhaust. So it does have the conditions for some intensification here over the next 24 to 48 hours but after that it's going to encounter some vertical wind shear as shown on the chart here and vertical wind shear if you are not sure of it's basically the uh, difference in wind speeds or difference in wind direction of different levels in the atmosphere uh, warm core lows or tropical cyclones really like the basically a uh, lack of vertical wind shear and so the uh, the center of the system can go straight up into the atmosphere if you do have the some uh, different in wind speeds it's going to start to knock that over and really uh, like a chimney a chimney effect type deal if you knock it over all that smoke's not going to want to get out well it's kind of the same effect here and your moisture in the center of the system is not going to want to get out it's all going to get knocked off towards the side and the system is going to weaken and not get as strong uh, noting that basically for uh, tropical storms to want them to develop up into typhoons you're going to want less than 15 knots of wind shear. Out here, you've seen about 5 to 10 knots, and right here, just east of Luzon. Now, that's what I'm talking about with that intensification area right in this region right here. Now, as it moves farther towards the north, though, it's going to encounter uh, wind shear upwards of 20 and even up to 30 knots here um, near Taiwan by the, that time period. Could see wind shear up near about 30 knots, actually indicating out here in the South China Sea as well. So, this entire region up in the here, just north of Luzon Strait, is really unfavorable for tropical cyclone development. Thus, on JTWC and uh, J, or excuse me, Pegasus warning, uh, really have it dissipating out here by this time period. But expecting to move off to the north here with the overall background flow along the western periphery of the subtropical ridge, as indicated here on the streamline analysis. So having it move off towards the north here, just basically clipping the east coast of Visayas and the east coast of Luzon here. Uh, JTWC actually does have that barely in the edge of their warning, and actually I do think that some heavy precipitation is likely here along along the uh, east coast of the Philippines. We'll get that in a second. But as it moves off towards the north here, around Taiwan, it's going to encounter a lot of vertical wind shear and the westerlies up here, rapidly moving it off towards the northeast. Now, still unsure if this is going to develop into an extra tropical system at that time or not. Likely not going to just be due to the lack of upper level support as it moves up this way. It could just fizzle out and become part of the uh, rainy season stationary front and thus increasing the amount of rain here over Okinawa, but really not expecting some high winds out of it. But still very long range. And also looking at the model consensus on this though. All the models are in fair agreement of this basically just skirting the east coast of the Philippines. Now CMC does track it over northern Luzon near Apari, but CMC not really a good model at handling tropical systems. If you're not sure what CMC stands for, it's actually the Canadian model and that's more uh, better for westerly or uh, polar type lows, really uh, bad at handling tropical systems. So sometimes you just see these uh, trailing off down here in the uh, western Pacific and especially around in the tropics. But the two models that really are on tap right now are the UK model and GFS both taking this up towards Taiwan and those are in fairly good agreement and that's kind of what JTWC and uh, Pegasa are putting their warning as shown here, just showing JTWC's warning, maxing out winds around uh, 40, gusting up to 50 knots here on the 19th into the 20th, just east of Luzon, and then it's going to uh, gradually start decreasing here in the Luzon Strait before rapidly decreasing due to the amount effect and the overall mass amount of vertical wind shear up towards Taiwan as well. For the time being though, they're going to be seeing some heavy rain showers across the east coast of uh, Visayas and eastern Luzon, and also noting that JTWC does keep the northeastern coast of Luzon 
in the uh, cone of air here. So going to continue to watch this tropical system specifically around Apari in the Sierra Madre region. Now, Bagasa, uh, and they're warning on tropical depression to guy here, does keep it off the east coast here, also showing Visayas in uh, some part of the air. So you're going to be seeing some heavy precipitation along the eastern coast of Visayas as well. I know that area is already drenched from the last several tropical systems that came through the region, but continue to watch it and uh, really going to see some flooding potential in a lot of the low-lying areas. So actually looking at a zoomed-in satellite photo of the region, you can kind of get a justification on the mass amount of precipitation that is already coming out of the system. All this bright area here in white is really just indicating a lot of these higher cloud tops, a lot of these cumulimbus tops right in here. And also showing a lot of these uh, cloud tops moving onshore already here in Visayas. And that's really kind of the cyclonic circulation as indicated here on my arrow. This is all moving onshore, so some heavy precipitation in these already rain-soaked regions is very likely. But right now, though, the center of circulation of uh, Tropical Depression of Guy here is is located right about in this region. I know the mass amount of convection here is along the southern periphery, and that's basically due to all the equatorial flow coming in from the south here. But overall, though, the cyclonic circulation wrapping around that center right there, just off the uh, northeast coast of Mindanao and Visayas, and all this is really going to track just a along the east coast of Visayas, and it's just skirting the east coast of Luzon. Now, this is kind of what my thoughts are on where exactly it's going to go, is right about there. Now, this is slightly towards the west of what JD. WC and Bagasa saying uh, just basically due to where the stuff system is going right now and kind of progging out on it and also noting where the subtropical ridge is located up here just to the northeast I think it might go slightly towards the west than what is originally being forecasted now that is, on that note though Manila could see some heavy precipitation in some of the outer rain bands uh, as this tracks off towards the east here just also noting that it could see a decrease in the temperature I know it's pretty sweltering there in Manila the last several weeks just uh, temperatures actually in the low 90s or uh, mid 30s through uh, much of the city here recently so this could be a welcome to cool off uh, just as this precipitation basically uh, cools the atmosphere but still in some of the low lying areas and some of the places that have the poor drainage could see a lot of heavy precipitation so right now much of a Visayas I would put under uh, basically a flood watch out here and also Manila especially uh, going to be watching out for some possible flooding here as well and also northeastern Luzon could see some high winds here, specifically Apari as it tracks just off the eastern coast here and showing winds upwards about 40 gusting up to 50 at this time just due to the uh, intensification out of it. But something we can continue to watch and still initializing on the system so this track still could change as noted on the cone of air from a JTWC. But that is all for right now everybody. If you have any questions, comments or suggestions as usual you can post them in the comment box below if you're watching this on YouTube or if you're watching this at the website and if you're not watching at the website I strongly suggest to go there. Plenty of uh, useful tools for forecasting out here and a lot of surface analysis and satellite pictures there as well but if you are watching us on the website I do have uh, new features that allow you to uh, comment via Twitter Facebook or just logging into the site here and you can comment as well so I just want to mention that so uh, thanks again for watching though everybody stay safe out there and always um, make sure that you follow your local warnings specifically here in the Philippines make sure you stay tuned into what Pagas is putting out and if you are being ordered to evacuate any of these low out of these any low-lying areas due to flooding I strongly suggest taking heed and just uh, listening to what the government officials are saying out here. So thanks again, everybody. Hope you have a great day.